hi kids so today I'm going to show you all how to open scratch online and how to do bookmark it and some programming challenges so let me open scratch now okay and let's click on here now you all can find this star button at the top right corner let's click on it and click on done now it will save to your bookmark bar so you don't have to type and search scratch again and again okay, close it and let's click on your browser and your login now you all can find your scratch online in the bookmark bar easily you can click it and open click on start creating and let's close this Okay, and I'm going to close my sprite, default sprite, and now let's add the backdrop. Okay, music and the theater. Okay, now next, I'm going to add two sprites. One sprite is going to move around the first sprite. Okay, let's add apple and a parrot. animals okay let's place it at the top and resize it okay 60 okay now it's going to turn around the apple move it around for that I'm going to take the first chord moving chord make sure the parrot sprite is activated it has clicked and in this moving block I'm changing the steps into 30 and next turning move around now let's click it and see okay next I'm taking when this sprite click block to make it uh, move when I tap on it when I'm clicking on it or tapping on it it will move around the apple okay this is how you can move around a sprite okay, let's close this next I'm going to add a beetle now it's going to turn around uh, by itself okay it's just going to turn around so let's see how to do that we need only the turning block and go to control and let's take this repeat block and the turn should be inside the repeat block and repeating time I'm changing into 50 now let's click it and see okay. now for this also I'm taking when this sprite click block so when I'm tapping on it it will turn around okay now let's close it next I'm going to add a monkey this monkey should hop and spin and come back to its starting place okay so let's place it in the middle and change the size 75 okay here children on this stage uh, for each and every place it has a location with X and Y here now you can see X and Y and now I'm taking the same block go to X and Y okay when you are moving your sprite place to place you can see the X and the Y number is changing next now I'm going to make it move hop okay for that I'm taking the change Y by coding and change the number into 150 okay let's click it now 
top when I click on change X by and when I click on go to X and Y it come back to starting place next now to spin I need the turning block okay for that I want repeating block in control okay that means the turning should happens many times okay so only the turning block should goes inside the repeat and change in the number repeating time into 50 now let's click it and see okay. now you can join the go to x and y block at the bottom Next, I'm adding when the sprite click block at the top. Okay, this is how you can uh, you can hop and spin and then come back to its starting place. You can move your sprite. You can hop it, spin it, and then come back to its home place. Now let's close this. Next, I'm going to change my backdrop to a plain color. Let's click on this blue sky. Okay, now um, I'm going to show you all how to move a sprite around a square. What is a square? Square means there are four sides, four equal sides actually. Okay, so let me find out a sprite. I want a football here. Soccer ball. Okay. Is it more down? Yes, I found it. Okay. Now this ball should move around the square. Let's see how to do that. For that, first of all, I need the moving cord. Okay, moving 100 steps. After that, after it's move 100 steps, it should turn. Okay. So here by default is 15 degrees, but in the square, the angle of a corner is 90 degrees so I'm changing it to 90 90 now let's click it okay four times this is how next let's take the pen while it's moving it should draw a square click on here and let's click on pen let's take the pen down block at the top and we'll click it and see okay, there you go this is how you can draw a square okay move a little and like this you can draw beautiful nice patterns in scratch by changing the angle the decrease the turning angle also you can draw amazing patterns here and by Using this erase all block, you can erase everything what you have drawn. Okay, and let's delete this now. Next, I'm gonna show you how to move a sprite right and then left and up and down. By default, as you all know, uh, a sprite is moving to right side. Okay, usually we can do that using a move block. Okay, but here we can see X with the double headed arrow, it means you can use the X coding to move your sprite to right and then left. Okay, I'm taking this change X by. Now let's click it and see. Yes, it's moving to right side. Now I'm going to duplicate this and let's change this 
number 10 into a minus number minus 10 now let's click it and see this is how it moves left right and then left okay now let's see how to move it up and down for that we need the y block by default is a plus number so when you click on it moves up now I duplicate that and change it to a minus number minus 10 let's click it and see yes it goes down right left up and down okay so this is how we can use our x and y coding children so let's see now how to save our work click on file and save to your computer so while you click on it you all can see your scratch project is saving at the bottom left corner now let's click on our file explorer and let's go to downloads and here you can find your saved scratch project now you can rename it give a meaningful name and make sure the name is saving with .sb3 Then I'm going to show you all how to open your saved scratch project and continue your work. Okay, click on start creating and then let's go to file and load from your computer and here is your saved project, click on it and click on open. Okay children, so this is our saved Hope you all learned something new today. Thank you. Please do practice.